This morning, a massive manhunt is underway for whoever was behind the deadly terror attack at a Christmas market in Berlin, Germany. The driver of the tractor trailer plowed into visitors at the market Monday, killing 12 people and injuring dozens more. As CBS 4's Brooke Silva Braga reports, ISIS now claims it inspired the attack. Berlin's iconic Brandenburg Gate lit up in Germany's black, red, and gold last night as mourners paid tribute to the victims of the Christmas market attack. At a memorial Tuesday, the city's mayor said such violence is meant to spread fear and hate, but we cannot and must not answer hate with hate. Nearby, authorities kept their focus on finding the person who used an 18-wheeler as a weapon Monday, searching the spot where the truck was last seen parked. Investigators believe the hijacker is armed. The body of the truck's Polish driver was found shot and stabbed in the passenger seat. Brunella Capitani, who was at the Christmas market at the time, still can't shake what she saw. Christmas markets are places where families go and children and, and I remember all these people. Authorities lost crucial time yesterday when they arrested but later released a Pakistani asylum seeker on the basis of an incorrect eyewitness report. Shortly thereafter, ISIS claimed responsibility, calling the true assailant a soldier who carried out the attack in response to calls to target citizens of the coalition. The news prompted one American tourist to cut his trip to Berlin short. We were planning to stay longer in Germany. We don't feel safe. Back in the U.S., law enforcement stepped up patrols at Christmas markets in major cities. Officials say there is no specific or credible threat to the U.S. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News.